looking at girls on Instagram and I envy their curly hair so much. It's so voluptuous and my hair is just too fine to get there. So I have length, all this length, for no reason because I can't do anything with it. I can do all kinds of product. I can blow dry it upside down. It doesn't get any bigger. So I'm gonna show you how to bump up the volume without putting heat on your curly hair so we don't mess it up. So if you're interested in bringing a lot of volume to your curls, continue watching. So these are some of my old sew-ins. I just keep this old hair. I didn't know what I would need it for. Hoarding, hoarding. But hey, it came in handy. I just washed it, gave it a good conditioning treatment, so this is the natural curl pattern to it. But that's not gonna be curly enough. So we have some, some hair wefts. Got a bunch of those. Scissors, a brush, a curling iron. I'm using this Paul Mitchell Neuro Wand, really small. Some thread, black thread because I'm using black hair. If you have blonde hair, then you might want some like white or like more yellow toned thread. A sewing needle, and then some little clips to put on it. And I got most of these things on Amazon and I'll list those all in the description below if you're interested in getting like these clips and the needle and all of that. So the first thing we're gonna do is, this is one like weft of hair. We're gonna wanna double that up. So there's always gonna be two pieces because you want the hair to be really thick. So don't just um, sew a clip on one piece. We're gonna be sewing them together like this. And you're gonna need to create different ones for your head size. So for my head, like if I was gonna use this, I know this one can fit here all the way across this, but it's kinda big. So this would be like the biggest way I could go and that's still probably too big. So I'd be a little better using a size like this. You just wanna make sure it's gonna fit across your head. So like I can put one right here, one right here, one right there. Um, and you can make them a little bit bigger than this or a little smaller depending on the area you need. So now I have it cut into two pieces. We're gonna put those right on top of each other. So we have our needle, and we're gonna thread the thread. Just pull it through there. And I just double it up. I don't know if this does anything, but I just pull it all the way down, and then I'm gonna tie it on the end right here. Just tie some knots. And I try to make those knots like overlap each other. There may be like a method for that, but I don't know it. Just trying to make it catched on the same knot. Just so it makes that knot real thick and it doesn't go through the holes. There. You see that's a pretty big knot right there. And then we have our needle on the end. So now I'm gonna take one of my clips and I'm gonna put it right here. Now make sure you clip it and unclip it so you know that it's facing the right side out. So I have it right on the end and we're just gonna start sewing. So I want that knot to be on the inside. Then I'm gonna just come back around. Make sure you go on both sides of it. Now I'm gonna bring it to the other side right here and just push it through those. Come back around. I just want to go back around there. And I, we're gonna do this several times because we wanna make sure it's super tight. If any of the threads pop, we wanna make sure it stays. It can get kind of difficult to push through. It will start to hurt your fingers, but you know, we gotta have that thick hair, so it's fine. And then I'm gonna just come back around here. Then back and forth this way a couple times. There's only two holes on this that I'm using. This one and this one. And there's really no method for what I'm doing here. I just wanna make sure it holds really tightly. Now we're gonna cut my needle off. Put that aside, because we're gonna need that many more times. And now the same way we tied the knot in the beginning, on the needle, we're gonna tie it right here. So go around and just try to make it as thick as possible and as close as possible. So when you have it pretty thick, we're gonna cut off the end so that's not sticking up anywhere. Right there. So now we have one clip. Bam. Almost 
to the fullness we're looking for. So now we're gonna do this exact same thing to the other side. You wanna keep creating those until you have enough that they can basically fit in your whole head without seeing them through. You don't wanna go so much that you start to see them. You just wanna place them like every inch or two and then in different sides because you wanna make sure that you have some small enough to fit on this side of your head, some for this side of your head, some to put right on the crown in case you wanna do like, add some more like length or fullness to this side situation of a little ponytail. Now depending on the width of the hair, like the one we created is a little smaller than this, but for this size, I needed three pins because I didn't want it to sag. I didn't want to put it here and put it here and then it sag right there. So I placed three pins so when it's in your hair, it can be a tighter grip because the tighter it is on your scalp, the more natural it's going to look. We want it to be as close as possible, okay? So if you make bigger ones like this, be sure to include three of the pins. If they are any bigger than this, you might want four of the clips. Now while our hot tool is heating up, getting ready for us to curl it, I'm gonna show you how I curled these alone. So we have our pins on here, and I really couldn't hold it and curl it with a wand at the same time, so I need something to pin it on. So I came into my restroom, pinned one right here, just as long as it's barely hanging on, this is super fast to do. Pin it right there, and then I just pinned the other one on another side. Now we have something holding our hair to curl it. To make the curls look really natural, you do not have to make it perfect because if we have curly hair, we know the curls. Shit. Now the trick to curling the hair and making it look natural is gonna be not being perfect. If you have curly hair, you know the curls go all different ways. Some are bigger, some are smaller. So it started in this way. Doesn't have to stay long. So the first curl goes in like this. So now we're gonna turn the other curl in the opposite direction. This is gonna give you more volume and make it look more natural. And just keep turning them opposite directions. And small sections because our curls are small. Now once you have all of your individual extensions curled, you know this is not how your curls really look. They don't sit exactly like this. And they will be much shorter because we know about that curlage shrinkage, but it's fine. They sit in there like little layers. It blends perfectly. Um, so what we're gonna do is take our fingers and break it up. Just like brushing our curl, we don't wanna brush these curls and turn it into little frizzy messes. We just wanna break it apart to match our natural curl pattern a little better. And now I'm gonna show you how I add mine in. So I like to start from the very bottom. So I go and piece it out right here. Try not to make my real hair too, too frizzy. And then pin the top of this hair up. Then find a piece that matches the size right there. This is gonna be the area of your smallest width, width of extensions. So make sure they're open. Just go in and pop them. Like that. Then we're gonna go take another little piece. Just pull on them and make sure they're really tight. You don't want them coming out. If you find they're a little loose, you can always take a teasing comb and tease right where you're gonna put the comb in and put it right there. I did that a couple times the first time I wore them, but it did start to frizz up my real hair, so I'm trying not to do that. When you're placing them, just be conscious of the hairstyle you're gonna create. I'm gonna go back to my little hairstyle where I had a little piece on top, so I wanna make sure that's gonna make sense with the pieces I add in. This is my hair now with all my extensions in, but look, Look how full that is. This, it makes such a difference. And we don't have to put heat on our hair or anything like that to get like a really fun big hairstyle. This makes such a big difference in curly hair. So much more volume. I love this. I've always loved my curls, but I hate how fine my hair is. And this solution has really like saved me so much grief. And I have about 45 different cowlicks in the back of my hair. So every which way it looks like I got a bald spot going. This makes me feel so much more confident with my hair. I mean, it's not all mine, but it, but it is mine, you know? And these are in tight. Like they are not sliding. They are not going nowhere. 
I hope that you enjoyed this curly hair extension tutorial. If you make some of your own, please be sure to tag me at Beauty by the Bee on Instagram because I would love to see your thick, full curly hairstyles as well. Thank you so much for watching.